Stupid effects, of course, also supports its own particle system, simple particles. And I have a scene here now with an emission object, it's a simple disk with a displaced deformer on it. And I made it a source for the emission of simple particles. And let's just have a look at how this looks like when I play this animation. All right. So and I now would like to uh, incorporate these simple particles um, in the fluid simulation in order to let them interact. I can simply go into the particles tab here and activate the simple particles here and we got settings here for uh, the simple particles. Actually the emitter is not assigned of course so you can simply drag and drop it here to get the according settings and we can now define here certain emission rates uh, for the smoke fuel heat and pressure channel or as a color channel we have some falloff and H dependent emissions and of course also emission of wind and vorticity particles so you have every possible way that you have with the fluid particles or thinking particles also for the simple particles and uh, let's just now try this I have set the simulation space to uh, 60 uh, cubic uh, resolution and I am also using one subgrid layer to have a more a smoother appearance of the simple particles interaction and when I now play the simulation and uh, we can well we don't see much here some slight smoke emissions when I render this well the radius of the simple particles is apparently not big enough to be visible here so I increase it and we can see much better now the tracing lines that they the trail that they leave behind so you can easily uh, incorporate simple particles interaction uh, with the fluid simulation. 